Let's talk about a condition called sarcopenia, age-related muscle loss. Now, the Greek word for sarcopenia means poverty of your flesh. Now, sarcopenia is atrophy, which is shrinkage, and degeneration of your skeletal muscles. Those are the large muscles in the body, as well as the quality of function of those muscles. Now, normally sarcopenia starts with uh, two specific areas in your body. The quadricep, that's the front part of your thigh, and then the abdominal muscles. You just start losing the abdominal muscles, so it's difficult to do a sit-up. So then, as it progresses, you get a loss of the mass of muscle throughout the body. Uh, you also lose your appetite to a certain degree. Uh, you have a risk of falling, and many times there's no symptoms until it becomes very, very severe. It's worsened by becoming immobile, just not moving. It's worsened by nutritional efficiencies, and definitely a lack of exercise or motion. There's two factors to look at when someone has sarcopenia. Number one, the initial muscle mass, and number two, the rate of muscle mass decline, the loss of weight, and how rapid that occurs. And that's really a good way to determine if you have sarcopenia. But here's the question, what do you do about it? The most important thing is to add exercise, routine, regular, consistent exercise. It can dramatically slow the rate of muscle loss, especially if you do a resistance type training where you're working the whole body and you can use your own body weight as well, whether it's push-ups or sit-ups, etc. Number two, vitamin D, very, very important. Minimally 10,000 IUs, but you probably want to go to 20,000 IUs. Next nutrient, which is very important, omega-3 fatty acids, which is in fish oils or cod liver oil. And then number four, amino acids. Now, I'm not biased on my own amino acids, but Keto Essential Amino Acids has a very unique blend of all the essential amino acids that you should take, especially leucine. Leucine has been found to stimulate uh, muscle growth and prevent the loss of muscle. So it's really good for muscle atrophy. And then we have something called HMB, which is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. And this compound, based on several studies, um, has shown to significantly reduce the loss of muscle. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.